Before buying a workstation or a laptop, you must understand that 3D modeling and rendering use computer differently. Having the best and latest 3D software won't cut it if you don't have the right hardware to run it. To learn which computer works best for you, you need to understand the difference between each task which would help you pick the best computer, improve the quality of your work and get the most bang for your buck. I already made a video on the best CPU and GPU for animation which I have left links to in the description below. You can check them out after this video. Without wasting much time, let's talk about the best RAM and RAM management for best 3D application workflows. This is discussed often and it's true. RAM doesn't impact performance all that much unless for some reason you are running uh, Maya on a 4GB RAM. Yes, there might be a 2% speed gain in certain types of workload, but buying extremely expensive or high clock RAM with great timing just isn't worth it for a marginal performance increase. For animation, it's much better to get a normal RAM speed for a normal price and spend the extra bucks on additional RAM capacity. This would help you a lot more in the long run. RAM is essentially just a storage component that the CPU uses to cache data so it can access it very quickly. If your RAM is full, there will be nowhere else um, for your CPU to cache its data than to drop them onto your hard drive or SSD, which isn't a good stage for your computer to run into because they are a multitude slower than RAM. And you will notice the system crawl to a halt if your RAM is full. That said, the baseline amount of RAM for animation should be 16 gigabytes of RAM, which should be enough for many starting out um, with 3D but usually you would outgrow this quite quickly. I would recommend a 32GB RAM for most independent 3D artists. A 64GB option will last you a long time, especially if you are into sculpting, work on large projects with lots of polygons, displacements, high resolution textures, or large particle caches. Having more RAM also benefits you when you have more than one software open at the same time, and that happens all the time. If you are in Cinema 4D or Maya or 3D's Max, chances are you also have Photoshop, maybe um, After Effects, Google Chrome, and an email program opened in the background. And of course, all these applications need their own um, share of RAM. And that's when you begin to benefit from large sized RAM. Good brands to look out for are Corsair and G-Skill. Some particular RAM kits I can recommend to you are the Corsair 16GB LPX and the Corsair 32GB LPX Vengeance kit. One important thing to take notice of is always buy your final RAM size in a kit bundle. If you want 32 gigabytes of RAM, buy four 8 gigabytes in a kit or two 16 gigabytes in a kit. Don't buy two or more separate individual RAM kits that you would end up mixing up on a single motherboard. And there is certainly a reason why it's advisable to go in for bundled RAM and not separate RAMs. Bundled RAM models are pre-tested in factories and will work well together. If you buy RAM sticks individually, these might not work well together, even if they are of the same um, exact specification and brand. It could be that their manufacturing dates are the same, or the companies manufacturing the RAMs have different factory lines that have their silicon slightly different from one another, and these are the main causes of most computer crashes and blue screens. You might also be fond of optimizing your RAM as much as possible in order to have more cash to spare. The general rule is to have high clock and low CL timing for best performance. That said, AMD Threadripper benefits more from high clock RAM than Intel CPUs do. This is due to the fact that some components on the Threadripper CPU are linked to the memory clock speed. So a 32GB DDR4 3200MHz CL15 will be slightly better than a 32GB DDR4 um, 2666MHz CL17 on a Threadripper CPU. Okay, so getting the best RAM for your 3D work should only be a matter of it being of the same bundle, size, speed, and also don't forget the brand. It's very important. If you love this video, kindly don't forget to give me a sub and a like. Until my next video, Peace out.